Hey guys, coming at you with another video today on this um, Tuesday afternoon. And today I wanted to go over um, a video that's relatable, but also something uh, kind of like a piece by piece video of the things that you need to become better, to fix yourself, to improve yourself, to recover from anxiety, head pressure, depression, um, whether it's just anxiety, whether it's a breakup, whether it's a uh, obesity, whether it's a mental problem, whether it's a physical problem, whether it's, um, you know, an emotional problem. Um, and those three things I've kind of looked at and what I've kind of done a little bit of research on and as far as my personal experience, for me, the three things that I picked up on and I've seen improvements overall. Um, first off is cleaning and being organized. Uh, second would be diet and exercise. Um, and I, I'd lump kind of posture in there as well. Um, and attitude and goals would be the third. So we're gonna talk about those three. Those are the three main things that have helped me recover um, and set me on the road to recovery and as far as living a more positive lifestyle, a lifestyle full of fun, um, improvement, goals, happiness, um, calmness, um, less stress, and overall just like just improvement and being a little better of a human being and bettering yourself. Um, first off, cleaning and organized. I am not a very organized person. I was not ever an organized person. I procrastinated. I was always able to be slightly successful. However, that didn't always result in great things. Um, you need to be organized. You need to be able to keep things together or, or there's, there's like things get out of control. Um, and I've noticed for like my roommates and I have to admit, like I had a roommate and, um, I have a roommate right now and it's kind of towards his tail end. He's a really good friend of mine and his girlfriend, um, they kind of have a very high, high standard for cleanliness and I'm kind of right in the middle and they don't spend much time here. And that, that can be kind of degrading. It can be kind of frustrating. It can be kind of like whatever. And it used to be bad. It used to be like looking around, like this place looks pretty good. Um, as far as cleanliness, how it smells, um, how it looks and stuff like that, how it presents itself a lot better than what it used to be. And it's improved. And I've definitely seen like, like roommate and his girlfriends over here more often because it's cleanly and stuff like that. That is huge. Just being able to be presentable, um, being clean, um, being organized, being organized with your work and stuff. No one being, being like looking good and stuff. People recognize like a fresh iron shirt when I go to work or a bow tie or something different. Just looking clean and smelling good are go a long, long ways. I mean, I have a lot of clients or customers that just either smell bad or just look non-presentable. You judge a book by its cover, you really do. Yes, in the inside, they may be completely different. They may be a great person. They may be a lot different, but that first impression is huge on people. And if you want to be successful in life and and kind of take the stress off, being clean and stuff like that and organized takes a lot of stress off work, whether you're in college, high school, with classes, whether you're cleaning up your house, whether you're paying your bills, whether you're paying off your debt, whether you're succeeding in your job or grinding at your job, you need to stay organized. You need to take the steps to break those habits. I used to have terrible habits um, and I'm still kind of making my way up and I'm kind of sometimes halfway there, three quarters of the way where, sometimes all the way there in certain regards, but I need to push just a little bit more because that, that changes. It's kind of crazy when people say, you know, um, Typically, you don't wear suits to work, at least the job I work. But one day I wore a suit and everyone's like, you wear a suit. And I'd worn a suit that last week. It's just because I wasn't, I haven't consistently presented myself why they, they, it's, they should expect that. Um, and like, yeah, like to wow people and stuff like that. But at the same time too, you know, you can't just wow people if you've never wowed them before. And if you continue to disappoint people, like it, it, it should become common occurrence that you look good, feel good, you're clean and organized. So that is one huge key that's really helped me, especially in my personal and professional life. Um, diet and exercise with posture. First off, posture has kind of been the key to fixing my overall demeanor, how I look, how I present myself. Like 
Right now I'm looking like up here because I don't really want to look down at my phone too much, so I apologize if that's um, kind of off-putting. But at least I'm not touching my nose as much as people kept saying in some of my videos, so I've tried to work on that. Posture is huge. It's how you present yourself. You're more confident if you're looking like this instead of hunched in like this. Um, you are helping out all the muscles and the tension in your neck. Um, you are taking strain off your shoulders. You're taking strain off your muscles, your head, around your behind your eyes. Even jaw muscles are hugely affected. So that's one huge thing. As we look at phones, we look down at things, we type on computers, stuff like that. We need to focus on... When I go to the gym, all I do is stretch anymore. I do a little bit of core work and I'm starting to actually lift weights because my posture is improving. So I'm able to do that without getting so much pressure in my head to stretch out those muscles, stretch out the chest, stretch out the shoulders, YouTube it. It could really, really help. And I really want to make actually a video on what I do to help posture and forward head posture. It's a huge thing that needs to be improved. Exercise, I the, the best form of exercise in my opinion is like brisk walking. Um, it gets the heart rate up. It's not too pounding on um, walking, swimming, and biking. Best forms of exercise, in my opinion, because they put the less stress on your joints and they, they have the most benefits for it. Um, hardcore cardio can, can increase stress levels. Um, if Walking does help, too. Walking is huge. Um, I get it if you want to push yourself and you're just trying to get like build up endurance and stuff like that, but hardcore cardio can actually increase cortisol levels to a certain extent. So that's what I do as far as exercise. I do a lot of stretching. Um, I'm trying to build, but I'm building muscle based off of diet. Diet is the huge thing here. This is the biggest thing that's holding people back. I've told people before like diet, like the pr proper microbes and stuff in your gut, bacteria can instantly change your mood. Um, grains and um, fats or grains and sugars are terrible for you. They build up in your system. You store, there was a story that I was reading. This guy went on a 21 day fast um, and he was 430 pounds and he lost like 270 pounds because literally all it was doing is his body, instead of using carbohydrates and sugars as energy, it produced ketones after a while. Ketones burn fat. Fat is a more efficient way to burn muscle. For me, I'm trying to gain weight, so it's kind of the opposite. So I'm kind of caught in the middle of what I want to do, but eventually when the metabolism slows down, when in which it will, um, I need to eat a more efficient matter. What do I eat? I eat a lot of seeds, I eat a lot of nuts, I stay away from carbs, I stay away from sugars, I don't, I'm not full keto, stuff like that, but I definitely think staying away, you don't need to you don't need to live off carbs. You don't. There's literally, you could live with zero carbs. You could live with zero sugars. You don't need that because your liver is such a beautiful organ and it produces all that stuff for you. Um, and in addition to that, um, you will you'll be run, your body I found runs so much more efficiently when I'm um, eating. I mean, intermittent fasting is one thing you could do as well. Um, when you eat, um, foods that are high in fat and protein and low in sugar and carbs, your body can run so much more efficiently, drinking more water and stuff like that, staying away from processed foods, staying away from added sugar, staying away from diet soda, staying away from fast food. I know it's cheap kind of thing, but you can go to Costco, you can go to Winco, you can go to all these places and they're just as affordable. You can't tell me that and this is just a it's simple, and this is going into the third point of having an attitude and goals, is not being lazy about it. You have to, you, life isn't fair sometimes. Some people are given extremely fast metabolisms. Some people aren't, and I get that. But there is also ways like to lose weight. Life isn't fair, but there, there shouldn't be that excuse. That's not an excuse to me. It's not my excuse. I want to be more muscular, but I keep telling my excuse that I need to push myself a little bit more and I keep giving me that excuse and I haven't seen any change. And I'm still that skinny, tall kid that really isn't that appealing, but I guarantee you if I did, I would look so much more appealing to, to girls and anyone just as far as like a reputable guy that just looks good. Um, then finally, one of the biggest ones is attitude. Attitude and goals. Like you need to find a purpose in life. You need to find what you are good at in life and you need to learn 
that you choose your attitude throughout the day. You choose who you want to be. And if you choose to wake up and be like, oh man, this is gonna be a terrible day, you will have a terrible day, regardless of what happens. You need to wake up and be like, I'm gonna kill it today. Listen to something motivating. I listen to pump up music. I have goals at my job. I just got promoted three days ago. I've moved up faster at this company than pretty much anyone I've seen in the past few years. I've literally gone from the low level position and promoted three times in less than a year. I'm moving, I'm grinding, and I want to be the best that I possibly can be. And I'm starting to see that potential. I'm starting to see that growth. And I continue to move upwards. And as I continue to move upwards, I continue to achieve more goals, to feel better about myself, to feel more confident. And once you start doing that, it's a, it's a beautiful cycle of feeling better about yourself, feeling more empowered, feeling like you can do it, you can do anything. It's the same role of confidence. I'll give you an example. I play a lot of golf and if I start missing a lot of putts, confidence obviously is gonna go down if I can, and I don't put too much effort into it. But as I start making putts, let's say five putts in a row, all of a sudden when I get over that putt, that sixth putt that I've made four out of the five or five out of five, I'm like, I feel good. I'm gonna make this like it's just it's it's the waves of energy how you present yourself how you um, walk into work every day with a smile on your face you're just like oh, I hate this you choose what you want to be you choose your goals and you choose the life that you want to live attitude your mood and stuff like that has a huge dictation on who you present yourself as and what people and people that want to be around you. People want to be around positive people. Stick around positive people. Let those people go that are very negative in your life and are not doing anything for you. You can only help them as much as they need. They want the help and they take the help. And, you know, sometimes you got to have those difficult conversations. But I guarantee you, if you pick a better attitude, if you pick your if you choose to motivate yourself, if you choose to defeat that battle in your mind, you will be extremely successful and on the road to being a more empowered human being that has goals set for itself and a role model that people want to look up to. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. I really wanted to make a more informative video because I haven't pushed out that much content and I hope you really enjoy this because I really felt like this was a really strong video with a lot of, and I feel confident in this video. I feel tingly because I know that it, it's, it's, it's what, it comes from the core. It's what really has helped me. So please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate the support. You guys have a great day. Peace.